Welcome to episode three on Bad Decisions with Jazz. Hello, lovelies. I hope you all had a wonderful 4th of July. Happy Independence Day, America. All countries matter. Do you see how stupid that sounds? Um, That was in support of the Black Lives Matter movement, which I do support, and um, I can't take credit for that quote. I did not quote it. My brilliant mind is not that brilliant. I just like to think it is, you know? Um, This weekend, I decided to stay in a hotel and spend money I just don't have, but you know what? It's it's okay because I got a nice little tan going. My face is pretty burnt and it's peeling now, which is definitely fucking adorable. Love that shit. Um, Yeah, and that was basically my weekend. I didn't... I spent it with the guy I was talking to for six months, so you guys know my vibe with that, but again, my best friend, so yeah, no, it was definitely a wonderful weekend full of all kinds of decisions that were bad, but anyways, let's talk about what this episode is about. So it's about women's rights. The 19th Amendment for Women's Right to Vote came out in August 18th of 1920. We are celebrating 100 years of our rights, and it still seems like... There's fucking shit, okay? There's, it's still an issue. I feel like women's rights are still a fucking issue. I'm not too much of a feminist. I am a feminist. I do believe that women can do anything that men can do. I do believe that we deserve equal rights. Um, I'm just not like an extremist feminist, you know what I mean? Which hopefully that's doesn't make me a bad person, but oh well, my life is bad decisions anyways. Um, Full disclaimer, by the way, before I get into any of this, these are completely my opinions, as I always say in every episode. So don't check me, don't come for me, because you know that this is just how I feel about this topic. Um, Women's right is pretty intense to me. Anybody who knows me knows that I love to talk about this, and um, I'm not the kind of woman who likes to ask for help. I'm the one who says, no, I can do it all by myself, but in the end, I probably think like, oh shit, I actually could have used help with this, but you know, it's, it's fine. I'm living, I'm learning. <laughs> um, so we're going to talk about a comment that someone had made in regards to, and I'm going to butcher her name, Vanessa Guillen's case. Um, this person is Lieutenant Colonel Betsy Schuller, 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 I don't know how to say her name, but you get the point. You can Google her. Um, she was an Air Force Lieutenant Colonel, which is a pretty high fucking rank. Like, you can be a commander of a whole unit at that point, or more, you know? I've just seen that a lot with commanders and units. Um, she is now a lecturer at the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee. I did hear about a whole protest about her on... I think it was today, actually. I think it's I think it's on Wednesday. Yeah. She had said that, in regards to Vanessa's case, that sexual harassment, sexual assault is the price of admission for women in the good old boy club, in quotes, which, aka, is the military. If you're gonna cry like a snowflake about it, you're gonna pay the price. Yeah, that comment still kind of gets me work up. The result of this kind of comment could really enable men or women of ill behavior. And that's not okay, you know? I mean, we're gonna talk about in men in this case because Vanessa's case was, you know, a man was harassing her. And it's just so shitty, you know? We're celebrating a hundred years of these kinds of rights and we have somebody making ignorant comments like this. Like, why are comments like this still an issue? Why are women still being told what to wear, when not to leave the house, where not to walk, who not to talk to, how not to dress? Why are we still being told this? Because, you know, when we're in the military, We're all wearing the same uniform, let's start with that. But we're literally covered from our necks down to our toes. It's so covered, you're so one shape in uniform that I don't understand why we're still being told, well, how did you dress? Okay, shut the fuck up if you gotta ask that. No, it doesn't matter what you're wearing, it doesn't matter if you're wearing the shortest skirt on the fucking universe, okay? Think about it, if women in the military are still having these problems on a day-to-day basis just based on the fact that we're in a male-dominated community, it's fucked up. So, no, I think the how to dress question should absolutely get the fuck out of that equation. It shouldn't even be a question. It shouldn't even be a thing. You know, we shouldn't even be telling ourselves, well, should we wear that? You know, or are we going to get too much attention? No, wear what you want to wear, okay? If you're going to be out there and you want to wear this, then do it, okay? I don't, I hate when I see that on social media, like, 
women being told what to wear and you know when when there's a sexual harassment or sexual assault case on social media i see so many comments like well what was she wearing no fuck off with that shit for real women who should not expect to be sexually harassed like even if you're in the military no it's not the price of admission for joining the military you're not you are not supposed to just get sexually harassed it's not it's not that common of a thing it shouldn't be that common anyways you know in this case every program that the military has made for situations like this failed vanessa for sure they completely failed her on every level you know her leadership failed her like again it's a male dominated community so it's hard for men to be like oh there's no way that he said this or you know that he's doing this or just things like that like there's no way that he was acting like this like i don't don't believe you because you know there was a lot of false accusation kinds of cases too and whose side do courts and judges and people usually take they usually take the women's side in regards to it so it's it's really hard to the win-lose situation yeah but women should not have to constantly look over their shoulder they should not have to tense up when a man walks into a room you know we that is oh man I'm trying to like keep myself composed, I'm not even gonna lie, but women should not have to tense up when a man walks into the room, military or not, it does not matter, okay? Now in the military, we go through loads of training. In basic, we sit through hours and hours of presentations on, in quotations, acceptable behavior. Like we literally know better in the military like who not to make jokes to or you know what jokes that you're not supposed to make in general you know things you're supposed to say things you're supposed to do things you're not supposed to do things you're not supposed to say you get the gist of it um and then air force wide like once you're actually in the military and not in basic anymore it's yearly training on these slides on positions you shouldn't put yourself in on positions you shouldn't put other people in you know jokes that should not be made in the work center because it might make somebody feel uncomfortable you know um it's a new day and age and it, this is really something that we all have to really be conscious about and think before we speak and i i don't know why it's not a thing you know for me and this is really shitty but when i go to the bathroom at work first of all I will try and hold it for as long as I possibly can, but I try not to be in the bathroom too long at work. When I go to the bathroom at work, I sit there and I'm just like, okay, I really need to lock this door. Like, it, it scares me that I cannot lock, like, the main bathroom door because I want to lock it because I'm just like, it takes that one shitty, fucked up person in the mind to walk into that bathroom while I'm in there when, you know, I'm most vulnerable and get away with everything like there's i would obviously put up a fight but there's only so much i could do at that point like it doesn't matter he could knock me out or something i i don't know i i'm the kind of person who thinks about these kinds of fucked up situations and it sucks that i put myself through that emotionally that's probably why i'm such a fucked up person but yeah no it it's pretty intense i i freak out, I get anxiety every time I go to the bathroom. Like I said, I try to hold it as much as possible. So let's go to the what ifs. What if Vanessa was her daughter? Would she have said something like that? You know, what if she were in Vanessa's shoes? Would she have said something like that? Would she have reported it? And would she have stopped reporting it until the situation was resolved, until somebody finally listened? You know, I don't know, you know? It's possible that she may have had her own personal story regarding sexual harassment in the military. Unfortunately, most women do. I had my own case of it. You know, I reported that this one person had said something, and honestly, I feel like it's been like a detriment to my career, and I wish I didn't report it. So I guess I could understand why she would say something like that, but either way, it's unacceptable. I always say that if you recognize a problem, then you need to provide a solution, even if it's one that you don't agree on. And if you have nothing nice to say, which this is pretty standard, then don't say it because 99% of the time it will offend someone. But I just see a lot of, you know, men and women talking about controversial topics like this one and they never stop to think about those what ifs. You know, what if I was in that position, what would I do? No one ever thought about the negative effects that their ignorant comments make. Like nobody ever thinks that, oh, if I say this, you know, and a lot, I've seen that a lot with like Black Lives Matter movement. You know, you need to pretend that your skin color is darker and pretend how much they freak out every time there's a cop tailing them or following them or when someone pulls them over and says, can I see your license and registration? You know, it's a pretty, if you ask them, they're terrified. 
because they just never know if they're gonna get that one corrupt cop who's gonna end their life right there on the spot, you know? And it's it's fucked up. But they never they never think about that. They just never realize that their ignorant comments do have, you know, some kind of say and it's it, it pisses me off, honestly. Like, great, give me your problematic opinions. I definitely fucking ask for them. If you don't agree with the situation, then just su shut the fuck up, okay? And a lot of women's rights situations too. I saw something on Facebook and um I don't remember what it was exactly, but I know that it had to do with Vanessa and like her staying quiet and it was like one of those kind of dark humor memes and I'm the person who's all for dark humor I love dark humor but that was another level of fucked up in the comments on there actually like I would say 99% of them were supporting how I viewed that like they were like it was too soon for this you shouldn't have even shared something like this this is fucked up on every level like think comments like that I'm just like yeah I fucking agree with that but um I definitely have my fair share of sexual assault and sexual harassment stories which is a unfortunate. Um, I would say that I've only had one sexual harassment situation, maybe even two actually, let's go with two, within the military um, and outside of the military. It's been, there's a lot more. So I think that life on the civilian side is a little bit harder and it's really hard to get that reported and it sucks that it's like that. Um, I was definitely having a conversation with somebody about this yesterday and I was trying to get some perspective because you know, you know that I love that, but I was trying to just see what ways that we could find a solution because obviously this stems from something a little bit bigger than us this is from our educators when we're young teaching men and women what's okay and what's not okay and i don't know i wouldn't know how to change that but if you guys know then we should definitely make that change because this is a intense topic like i said we're celebrating a hundred years and it seems like we're still going through those same battles on a day-to-day -day basis and i don't like that i wish that there was a way for us to change that uh if if you guys have any perspective, like I said, please let me know. I always go for perspective. I love perspective. And I think that's it for this podcast. So thank you so much for listening. Can't wait till you tune in next week to the newest episode, which will be episode four. That's crazy. Can't believe I got to episode four. I feel like usually I quit things. I don't know, but I'm rambling. So um, let me end this. Be safe. Be happy. Be loved. XOXO Jazz.